All right, y'all. I just woke up and I'm listening to theme music. I'm feeling it. Trading is here. Woo. Okay, let me get out of the way, like personal feelings. Not a fan really, but it's gonna be an important part of the game moving on. The repercussions I can see, um, Let's just go off the list of what's happening in trading. So we're going to be able to add friend codes, whatever. The Silk Road has had this, you know, feature. So if you've been actively using the Silk Road, like, you know, hey, trainer, give me your code. You should be set. should be easy in game, in app. So easy peasy. The limit is 200. So you can't just be, you know, you know, we just being besties with everybody, you gotta limit your circle. Like your raid circle, it's gonna get even better because the more you raid with somebody or battle gyms with somebody or something, yeah, you uh, you get bonuses. Bonuses. What? Let's just go off. Uh, yeah, there's, there's like four levels of friendship. Good, great, ultra, best. Where's the excellent? We could be excellent friends. I'm all about being excellent. But uh, yeah, it'll take one day to be a good friend, seven days to be a great friend, uh, 30 days to be an ultra friend, and 90 days to be a best friend. That being said, you get bonuses like extra raid balls, extra damage in gyms and raids so someone like me who likes you know smashing raid times if i'm doing a duo with somebody i'm gonna do i'm gonna be like i'm gonna pick a an ultra friend over someone who's just a good friend just because i want to slay some times so that'll be fun a new dynamic in the game which this game sorely needs dynamic change but hmm Again, let's talk about trading. The trade's only possible within 100 meters of each other. So assuming you're playing legit, you got to be, you know, you could be a football field away. Well, no, 100 meters. It's 33 feet. Okay, not a football field away. You don't have to be that far, but you don't have to touch hands and trade, which is just like the old games, unless you were actually playing Game Boy Color style. You're like, hey, I got a cable. Let's touch cables. And then, you know, cables touch, whatever. You get a Mew or all sorts of fun stuff. But the cool thing about trading is there's a there's a cost involved. Stardust and the IVs are re-rolled. So people with multi-accounts can't be like funneling all their goodies into, you know, their main. And that's, I think that's great. But for people who are, you know, decks filler, you know, you can only do one per day, I think. Ugh. Uh, what other restrictions are there? You have to be at least a level 10 trainer, which is basically do one raid. <laughs> anyway. Um, also, benefits of being besties is the stardust cost for your trade is lower, so... As soon as it pops out, make sure you get your friends. Do it now. Do it. Do it. And apparently everything be traded except for your mythicals. So no Celebes, no Muse, not just yet. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah. So one trade per day and one per friend. Hey, hey, laptop, what are you doing? I need a light, a backlight. Yeah. And yeah, it's just, uh, you got a candy bonus on depending where the, Poke uh, the Pokemon was traded from or where it's from. So, I mean, I'm really excited about the Alolan eggs. Uh, you can get a gift in game and then you can't open it yourself. But if you trade it, the other person can like, boop, open it, get their little gift. And seven kilometer Alolan eggs will be in it. And I think that's a fun way to 
incentivize trading and interacting with friends while doing, you know, the trade stuff. So hopefully, I mean, let's just talk about the Silk Road real quick. The Silk Road was made to facilitate trading, you know, the Silk Road. Like, you know, we can like pretty much smuggle a Mr. Mime into Alaska sort of thing. You can be like, hey, hey guy in Europe. And then he comes to Florida, meets up with some guy in Florida who happens to be going to Seattle. Then when you're that dude's in Seattle, like, hey, I'm going to trade to you. Then you can go take it to like Alaska. That was the Silk Road intended, though, the intended purpose. Now it's like a research sort of thing. But uh, yeah, let's see how they implement that. That'll be exciting to, to look at too. I mean, I was about to, I was about, oh man, I have so many research Pokemon in my queue. I was about to just send my shiny Kyogre, my second shiny Kyogre into the ether. But now that trading's a thing, it's now blackmail stuff. I can be like, hey, you want the shiny Kyogre? Pizza. I want a pizza. And it, you know, if you're willing to trade with a legit player, you know, because I won't trade with guys who have, like, you know, uh, used their account to, you know, get a something because their friend lives in Australia or whatever. But I went to Australia and I only have 11 of these. 11. And I'm willing to give one away. Willing. Willing. <laughs> I don't know what kind of goodies they got, but I am definitely looking for Mr. Mime. Uh, it's too bad I went, I don't know if you're missing any of the shinies from Community Day. I pretty much went down to one of each. Because uh, I feel like the kind of giveaway, and if you don't have one, you know, you should definitely you know, got your grind on. Grind. <sighs> I don't know. It's mixed feelings about this, about trading. Like, I'm excited. I mean, they have some features that incentivize it. But it's... Huh. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've, I have people I know that have quit one team and switched to another and they haven't touched their accounts really so that'll be good for them to get their old mons back uh they got to be best friends with each other their second account that they don't use so that'll be you know an interesting dynamic it'll be interesting who see who's gonna be like trying to hit up all the uh all the spoofers in town as we, you know, to be real, we, we do have them and people who got their legitimate Pokemon and they're going to be like, hey, I just want my decks filled, you know. But again, I can't be too sour about it. It's a, it's a free to play game that we poured money into. So, you know, it's just, I mean, the cool thing about my Kangaskhan is it was one reason to go to Australia, but the other reason was my friend got married. So there's stories to this. It's not like a... I just traded it and got one, but you know, again, that's probably gatekeeping me being like, you know, man, I got this legit, whatever, but yeah, it'll be fun. Uh, and whoever is lucky enough to get on my Kangaskhan list, you know, you better, yeah, I want some pizza. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, I'm done talking about this. This is exciting. Um, like I said, Pokemon Go has definitely needed a new shakeup. So, and I'm a talking head right now. Uh, I am definitely giving a little priority to people who are on this team. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Be excellent to each other because, you know, even more so, Trading, you know, you're gonna want to be nice to people, and people are gonna be nice to you because maybe they'll have something you want. I want a shiny ho, -Oh. shiny Kyogre for trade. Even though those, they're handing them out, King's gone, King's gone for trade. But yeah, even more so. Anchorage is a small town. You can't afford to be jerks to really anyone. It's too small. But yeah, that's why I keep telling you guys: be excellent, and of course, see you next Tarantar.